A youth-led nonprofit organization in the East is expanding with the vision of bringing the community closer together. Stephen Glover is in Kinston, where he spoke with members of Kinston Teens about what they have planned for the community. Stephen? Courtney, Kinston Teens, a nonprofit organization that's been serving the communities with meals, workshops, and a place to bond, is planning for an upgrade. This house is where Kinston Teens currently meets. And this is a rendering of what their new home will look like, a vision that started 10 years ago. There were a lot of issues going on, but one of the most major being the issue of gun violence. After seeing the efforts made by local government and officials to improve communities involving crime and impoverished communities, Sugg says there was something missing. None of them were directly involving or engaging with young people. Chris Suggs, a freshman at the time, started Kinston Teens a nonprofit organization to empower young people through service, leadership, and civic engagement to create a positive change in Kinston and its surrounding communities like in East Kinston. After 10 years, the hub Suggs and his team created where people can go to for resources and assistance is now expanding. This, this facility will include a commercial kitchen for us to be able to serve meals to people, uh, to be able to be a startup space for maybe food businesses who want to, or food entrepreneurs who want to start a new business here in the neighborhood. The facility will also include solar panels and resources for people to come to in case of weather-related emergencies and a place for everyone in the community to come and engage with others. One resident in the community says Kinston Teen has been making an impact since they first started. Well, they do a lot of stuff to help people in the community, like feed them dinners every third Sunday of the month, help them with food in the blessing box, supplies, anything. They've helped me a lot, and I appreciate them. And Kinston team will tonight at 6 p.m. host their monthly meeting. Reporting live in Kinston, Stephen Glover, WITN News. All right, thanks, Stephen. And Sugg says the location of the new community hub facility is planned along the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard corridor and will be voted on on Tuesday at the Kinston City Council meeting. It will cost $13 million to build with the bulk of the money coming from the EPA Community Change Grant and from community donations as well.